sex with Billy Aldridge so he could watch. Never. Got a serious blow to the head. This gentleman found her just about after seven o'clock while walking his dog. Thought she was drunk until he saw the blood. Has uh, she got um, anything? I reckon about 150 pounds worth. It's just a friend. A special kind of friend? Something like that. <laughs> but this woman got a name. Got three pound in cash. Oh, there you go. Carrie Morgan. Looks like Carrie's got some special friends too. And you said CID wouldn't be up this time of morning. I, I mean, not that you guys are lazy. What can I do for you then, Constable? Oh, <laughs> Stephen Mickey, Gov. You know Carrie Morgan? Yeah, I do. Why? We just left her in St. Hugh. She's been beaten up. How bad? Well, pretty bad. We haven't been able to interview her yet. Look, we found this in our effects. Carrie Morgan. That name rings a bell. She's a witness in the Delaney case. She's the Tom we're up to put him away. That was a year ago. Yeah, but I've been working on a job that involved her a couple of weeks ago. She got attacked by a punter. Look, we found this on her too. Carrie doesn't use anymore. She could be dealing. I said she don't do drugs, period. Well, she might have had a moment of weakness. It does happen in her line of business. Well, there's only one way to find out, now. Well, Lewis, I want you to go back to the hospital. I want to know the moment Carrie's ready to speak. Then you come with me. Find out the geezer who beat her up, we find out the source of the drugs. Yvonne. Some woman, uh, Ros Aldridge from the Lark Mead estate, she's just phoned in to say she's returned home to find her children missing. Sergeant Atkins told me to pass it on to you. It must be Billy's mum. Just what I need first thing. Ros's kids aren't missing. They're in foster care. I had to call in social services when I was working on an abuse case involving her eldest, Billy. And Billy helped us to get a result, but then I found out he'd been left loco parentis for months. I had no choice. Well, you better go and tell Mrs. Aldridge where her children are. It's not a problem. And then you're going to have to explain to her how you got involved with Billy in the first place. That's the bit I'm not looking forward to. Why can't you mind your own business, you stupid old What are you talking about? Do you know what? I better handle this. Now you can get it. All right. Mrs. Aldridge, I presume. It's Roz. I ain't Mrs. Aldridge. I don't want to be Mrs. anyone. How do you know I am, anyway? Does that make your son, Billy? Well, I can see where he gets his temper and his style. Where are my kids? She reckons one of you lot had them taken away. I think we'd better go inside. I was only in Newcastle. It's not like I was abandoning them. I love my kids more than anything. I was going to send for him once me and Jeff were settled. Jeff's a boyfriend, is he? I need more, no. Billy! He was looking after Ali and Shane. Well, at least he was supposed to be. I should have known he'd mess up. But he didn't mess up, Roz. Well, then how come you lot are mixed up in my family's business, eh? Do you want to run? Please. There is no easy way to tell you this. I'm afraid that Billy has been the victim of abuse. Abuse? Uh, I, I, I don't understand. You mean like a paedophile? Not exactly. This man has been grooming a 14-year-old girl. He convinced her to enter into a sexual relationship with him. Billy alerted us and he helped us put a stop to it. <laughs> How did Billy get involved in this in the first place? You said he was abused. Uh, this man, he he paid Billy to have sex with a girl while he watched. Sick. What kind of person does stuff like that? Why didn't Billy tell me about any of this? He might have felt like he couldn't. I am his mother having sex in front of some pervert adult. How could Billy think that wasn't wrong? Who could make him think that? Somebody you should have been able to trust completely. A doctor. Dr Wilder. Andrew Wilder? And before you think about doing anything stupid, he is currently on bail awaiting trial. Dr Wilder? Oh, come on. We, we, he's been our GP for years. No, there's got to be some mistake. 
Oh, Billy's telling one of these stories again. No, there's no mistake. And this isn't one of Billy's lies. I have known the Dr. Wilder. He, no, no, he was practically raised the little ones. Where are my children? You've got to get my children back. Okay, I will talk to social services, but it is their call. Now that you're back, I'm sure they want the family together again. How can something like this happen? I don't know. But he can't hurt your children anymore. He won't hurt anybody anymore. If it's the CCTV angles you're looking for, there aren't any. Lewis already checked. Well, this ain't Carrie's usual stamping grounds. I've got to do with anything. Well, maybe she was attacked somewhere else. Maybe she weren't attacked here. Maybe she walked there, not realising how injured she was, then collapsed. All right, walk from where? Here. Right, Dan, I want you to grab some bodies and get them to check the CCTV on the estate. You check the system and see if there's any reports of fights or disturbances. What are you going to do? Curb crawling. Curb crawling? What are you telling me? I went to see the girls who work Carrie's patch, that was it. I wanted to see if any of them see the last punter she went off with was, so that was all. Any luck? Yeah, it turns out the guy's name was Tony Maguire. He's a regular of hers, apparently. He's got form for possession and theft. And guess what his last known address was, Dan? Coal Lane Estate, a custom wave fan. Bingo. You're going to need more than that. How do you want the CCTV? Yeah, we've got nothing of the girl coming in or out of the estate, but if he does live there, he's going to have a good idea where the cameras are, isn't he? Mm. So I had a look on Chris. Got three reported complaints, all from the Coal Lane estate. That's some loud banging and a couple arguing, all from the same block. I think it's time you roll Mr Maguire in, don't you? Thanks for coming in, Mr Maguire. Didn't have much of an option, did I? We're investigating an assault on a girl called Carrie Morgan, which happened in the vicinity of the Coal Lane estate in the early hours of this morning. You see Carrie last night? No, I did, yep. When was this? I don't know, it was pretty late. I picked her up about three. She's a working girl, as of course you know. Yeah, I do. And that doesn't give you the right to use violence against her, Mr Maguire. I'm not saying it does, and I didn't. Did you have sex with her? <laughs> it's generally the object of the exercise. Then what happened? Well, we didn't sit down for a candlelit dinner. What do you think? Right, would you say that this was a business transaction, yeah? Are you trying to bust me for using a whore because I've come down here to clear my name of an assault? You see, because what I don't get is, when we found Carrie Morgan, she didn't have any cash on her, and you just said you engaged in a business transaction. She got paid for her services, all right? I don't know what happened after she left. Look, Carrie's a regular. We have an understanding. Why would I want to beat her up? Well, if you have such a great understanding, why do three of your neighbours complain about the yelling coming from your flat? Mm. That's part of it. How do you mean? Part of our thing. I like it a bit rough. Maybe it was a little bit noisy. Maybe you got a bit too rough. She didn't like it and you lost it. It's not like that. Carrie is a professional. That's why I use her. Now, how much longer is it going to take because my wife's coming home from her sister's? I right, say so you admit to getting a bit rough with Carrie Morgan, yeah? Then we find her unconscious. I mean, you'll forgive us for being a bit sceptical, yeah? Fine, whatever. But you're barking up the wrong tree. Look, I'm really sorry to hear that Carrie's been hurt, but it's got nothing to do with me, and she will tell you that. Social services are on their way to talk to Ros now. Any sign of Billy yet? No, she's left a few messages. I'm sure he'll turn up once he knows the kids are back. Yeah. Have you seen this? They're bringing that Barton Street sergeant down here for some press loving over that RTC snafu the other day. It's the usual PR stuff, isn't it? How we all work together, blah, blah, blah. At least it's good press. Yvonne, there's a Tina Powell asking for you in the front office. Ring any bells? She's the abuse victim in the Wilder case. Did she say what she wanted? No, just that she needs to speak to you. Why well, is it admitted to slacking her around, but swears it's consensual? What are your feelings? He's hiding something. He's probably telling the truth on the assault case. He said he's happy for us to run forensics on his clothes and that Carrie will corroborate his story. So why don't you talk to her? Lewis called to say that Carrie's ready to interview. You OK? Fine. You know, you could have called. You don't have to come all the way down there. I wanted to come. I wasn't sure I'd need to speak to. About what? My statement. About Dr Wilder? About how he abused you? He never abused me. It was all made up. I want to withdraw it all. Makes me feel more human. What are you doing here? I heard you've been in the wars again. How's that other job? Who did this to you, Carrie? I don't know. It doesn't matter. What's that supposed to mean? I just want to forget about it, OK? No, it's not OK. You can't let whoever did this to you get away with it. Who do you care, anyway? It's my job. Yeah? Well, there's nothing to investigate here, Mr Policeman. 
We already know you saw Tony Maguire. You work fast, don't you? Did Maguire do this to you? No, he had nothing to do with it. That's funny, because a minute ago he didn't know what happened. Now he seemed pretty sure. Just drop it. I can't. Did Maguire give you the cocaine? We found it in your bag. Is it yours? I told you I don't use any more. I didn't ask whether you was using, Carrie. I asked whether it was yours. Can you just leave me alone? Not until you give me something. If Tony Maguire did this to you... It wasn't him. It was me, him. OK. I'm on video now. Are you sure you don't want a responsible adult here with you? Your dad? Or a teacher? What for? I told you what I want. What difference does it make? Can you tell me why you want to withdraw your statement against Dr. Wilder? Just do. I don't think that you were making it up. So why do you really want to do this? Is it because you're scared? Because if you are, that's OK. What would I be scared of? Going to court. Facing Dr. Wilder. And you know, you won't see him. All your evidence will be given via video link. I'm not scared of Andrew. He wouldn't hurt me. He already has, Tina. See? That's what you lot do. You distort things. The statement that you gave saying what happened between you and Dr. Wilder and Billy is very clear. How's that been distorted? It wasn't like how you made it sound. How was it then? Have you been pressured into this? Has Dr. Wilder contacted you? No, he hasn't. It's not allowed, is he? No, he's not. Look, Tina. I've told you what I want. I've made my mind up. So unless there's something you want me to sign or whatever, I want to go home. The last few weeks, I've been thinking about getting out of the game. Went and saw a few people, tried to get some money together. Working hard, you know. So I'll go back to Tony's. Tony says he hasn't got any cash, offers me drugs instead. We had a bit of a row, but what could I do? I figured Gavin would be able to do something with it. Gavin Joseph, right? He found out I'd been seeing Tony off the clock. So you were working without giving your pimp his cut? I told you, I needed to get some money together. This was the only way. Somehow Gavin found out about it. So he beat you? He said he was teaching me a lesson. Carrie, please come down to the station and make a statement. You're kidding, right? I've learnt me lesson, Mickey. Snitching on Gavin with me, no pimp come near me. I won't be able to work. That's what you said you wanted. You said you wanted to get out of the game. Haven't you been listening? I tried that. It didn't work. This is all I have. Well, I'll ever have. Carrie, what did he do to you? Leave me alone. Let me see, Carrie. Just walk away. Without Tina Powell's evidence, the CPS won't proceed. There's nothing I can do about that. Somebody's got to. We can't just let it go, sir. I'm not suggesting you do. But we need something else. And what about Billy Aldridge? Uh, yeah, I know you wanted to keep him out of the official investigation. Uh, it's not just that. I think I've pretty much burnt my bridges with him when I had the kids taken into care. Well, his mother's back on the scene now. She might be able to talk him around. Perhaps. Well, I'm a bit uncomfortable taking that route. Well, I understand how you feel. But the fact is, this investigation's finished unless you can find a way to get Billy on record. Georgia. I was early for the press conference, so I thought I'd stop by. It's always a pleasure. Is it? Something on your mind? Uh, it's just a case it looks like going belly up. I could really do without this PR stand of a press conference. Oh, come on, John. Sunhill deserves a little time in the spotlight. Besides, it'll give you a chance to see Nicky Wright in action again. You're not trying to railroad me into choosing her for the sergeant's position, are you, Georgia? Here is the thought. All right, Billy, you're mine. 
mum called. Said you were back. What are you doing it? You come back to tell my more of my business. That's a nice welcome. It's about Dr. Wilder. I need um. We need a statement from you about what you did. But I thought you said you had enough. You promised me, Billy. Tina has withdrawn a statement. Does Tina girl tell you why she's withdrawn her statement? Well, she's claiming that her words were distorted, but I think that somebody's put pressure on her. Have you seen or heard from her in the last couple of weeks? No. No, I can't help you all that. It's just gonna twist what I'm saying and get me done up for underage sex. For what me and Tina did. I promise you, I won't let that happen. You're always making promises you can't keep. I'm out of it, okay? Wish I never said anything. If this is some little game that you and this Tina girl have cooked up, then you had better tell me right now. This ain't something you can walk away from, Billy. I'm not lying. Do you have to be so hard on him? If he's telling the truth about Dr Wilder, then why won't he or this Tina girl make a statement, eh? Because they're scared. <sighs> they're just kids, Roz. Gavin Joseph. Yes? I'm DC Webb from Sun Hill. I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault. Move You're on, not detective. I'm a busy man. You're a scumbag. We know that. It's such hostility. What have I done to deserve this? Well, we talk about it. Where were you between three and five this morning? At home. Sleeping? No. What were you doing then? This and that. Do you want to be a bit more specific? I was entertaining some of my staff. Mandy and Candice. They've worked for me for years. I bet they have. I don't know what you're implying, Detective. The girls are hostesses in my bar. You can ask them if you like. They're with me all night. How convenient for you. That's not the term I would use to describe it. Another girl who works for you, Carrie Morgan, was beaten up last night. Something wrong? Carrie doesn't work for me. She's an acquaintance. So you're not concerned that she was attacked? Well, I feel terrible for her. What's that got to do with me? She hasn't accused me, has she? It's been suggested that Carrie Morgan does work for you. That you are a pimp. <laughs> and recently you had reason to be angry with her. She hasn't made a complaint against me, has she? You're just fishing. I don't think we need any more of our time wasted, do you? Listen to me. We've taken your clothes for forensics. And when we find blood on... Oh, I'll... really? Well, that's funny. It's last night's clothes were at the dry cleaners. I'm very particular like that. Good luck with your case, detective. I've nothing more to say. You should have told me you didn't have a statement from Canning Morgan. I know, but I needed to move quickly if I was going to find some evidence, Gov. Yeah, which was already at the dry cleaners. And now with this dodgy raid, he's got ammunition against us. I take it his alibi checked out. Of course it did. He knew we were coming, he's covered his tracks well. And we blundered in like a bull in a china shop. He's making us look like amateurs. Well, oh, sorry, Gov. Look, I know you feel in debt to this county because you helped us with Delaney. But don't let yourself get emotionally involved. It doesn't help you, and he certainly doesn't help her. You know, a couple of weeks ago, you were right on the edge. Drinking too much, sleeping around, getting into fights. And you worked really hard at pulling it back. So don't risk it all by picking it up wounds. Listen. I just can't walk away, OK? Well, you don't have to. Just focus on the job. Don't let it get personal. Promise me, Mickey. I need to know you're going to be all right. Yeah. Oh? Hey. Hey. Oh. Sorry about that. Long time no see. Yeah? Thanks. I always knew I'd uh, bump into you. I didn't know it would be quite so literal. Yeah, sorry. I was miles away. Tough job. Uh, yeah, something like that. What are you in for? A press conference for the PR after that RTC nightmare and the, the arm robbery at Boss the other day. Right. What about you? What are you working on? Um, a pimp who likes brandishing cigarettes on his girls, you know. I don't know how you stand it sometimes. Just get on with the job, don't you? Mind you, I think I made a bit of a mess of this one. So, how are you doing? I heard you had a bit of a rough time of it a few weeks ago. Oh, being arrested by the other station, yeah. Just another in a long line of my recent screw-ups, you know. Well, don't be so hard on yourself, eh? I'd better go after this thing. Yeah. Nice to see you. 
what does the superintendent say about Billy not giving a statement? Well, CPS would have to drop the charges. It can't be that easy. We know he's pressured Tina somehow. Exactly. Where are you going? Pay Dr Wilder a visit. Are you sure that's wise? Well, like you said, we can't give up that easily. That was a very professional performance. Well, I'm not really used to that kind of PR speak. Nonsense. You were perfect. Oh, thank you, Mum. Do you get the feeling that people are talking about you, but you don't know what they're saying or why they're even saying it? Mm, I hate that feeling. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. PC Hemingway, whatever it is you want, can you please make it quick? Only I'm a busy man. Mm. Yeah, you have been busy, haven't you? And well, what's that supposed to mean? What with the GMC hearings and whatnot, you must have fallen behind with your work. Well, I know you'd prefer it if I'd been fully suspended. What do you want? I just want to check that you're absolutely clear about your bail conditions. Of course, why? I wouldn't want you remanded for breaking those conditions, such as, say, approaching a witness, contacting them in any way. What are you accusing me of? I'm just saying. Breaking the rules can have severe consequences. Are you still investigating? For what crime? Only my solicitor just called to tell me that all charges have been dropped. Ah. You didn't know, did you? Or maybe your senior officers don't have the faith in you they once did. Do they even know you're here? Tina's a vulnerable mixed up kid. She's desperate for attention. That's what this is all about. I see it all the time. Now, if you don't believe me, that's fine. But if you continue to harass me, then I'll be forced to take action. Do we understand each other? Perfectly. Well, then, goodbye, officer. Carrie! What? You really don't take a hint, do you? I came home to find my bags outside and the locks changed. Gavin to me, landlord. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Why would you? I don't even know why I came here. I didn't have anywhere else to go. Why don't you come stay at my house tonight? We'll see what you can do tomorrow. We shouldn't be able to get away with things like this, you know that? No, they shouldn't. When I saw him waiting for me outside Tony's, it never crossed my mind to ask what he was doing there. How he knew I'd be there. He must have planned it all along. It'd just be my word against his. I'd just laugh if I press charges, Mickey. Just laugh. Thanks for looking after me last night. Where are you going to go? That's what I've got to work out. See you later. Um... Oh, I'm sorry I'm late, Sarge. I slept through my alarm. It's the second time this week, PC Casper. What's going on? Nothing, Sarge. I'm just tired recently, I guess. You sleep on your own time, and I suggest you get a better alarm clock. This is your first and final warning. Sarge. Uh, Dan, you still got a CCTV footage from the cold and stone? Yeah, I've got it. I don't see what use it is, though, mate. It's no footage of Carrie. What a pimp. Planned it pretty well. Yeah, but that's it. I think he's planned it a bit too well. There's something nagging at the back of my head. I think that CCTV footage can help. Morning. It's that world who doesn't exist. I mean, nobody can be this anonymous, especially a doctor. What are you looking at? Everything. Complaints made at other surgeries, parking tickets. There's nothing. You know, I think you're getting a bit too single-minded on this one. You did take a big risk going to see him yesterday. Screwed up big time, you mean? I just wanted him to know he hasn't won yet. We've had a call from Dr Wilder's practice. Someone's thrown a brick through a window. Wilder's window, to be exact. If you don't mind me asking, sir, why are you personally passing on criminal damage shouts? Because the victim involved threatened to have his lawyers sue this station for wrongful arrest. Now, I know this is your shout, Yvonne, but under the circumstances, I could get someone else to deal with it. I'll treat it no differently to any other case, sir. That's the right answer. Don't let me down, Yvonne. You took her back to your place? So I'm involved with this girl, are you, then? It's not like that, Gov. What am I supposed to do, OK? She needed somewhere to stay. We found a shelter, a hotel. Anywhere but your own home. 
Find her a safe house. All right. Sorry. Mickey. Yeah, that checked out that CCTV you asked for. Looks like you were right. What you got? OK, we've got a car pulling into this state, and the PNC confirms that the car belongs to a Gavin Joseph. What time is this? About 5.15. Thanks, Dan. I thought the CCTV on the call owner's state was negative. Yeah, that's before we knew what we were looking for. See, something Carrie said made me wonder. Like how Joseph knew she was at McGuire's. He followed her? Yeah, but look, this is his car pulling into McGuire's estate two hours after Carrie arrived. So how did Joseph already know she was there? There's only two people who could have known Carrie was there. Carrie. Or the Pontru, huh? Exactly. I say we pay McGuire another visit. Well, I guess that answers that then. Tell me, wait. What for? You've made it perfectly clear you're not interested. I didn't mean that. But you are calling me all the time. I'm at work. It's not just you avoiding my phone calls. It's everything. You're moody, you're tired all the time. And when I have a casual sex relationship, it usually involves having sex. I know I've been a bit off. It's not you, it's me. Oh, I know that, Dan. No, I mean, look. I've been taking steroids for this boxing thing. It's got pretty intense, so I've stopped taking them, and I guess it has some sort of effect. Yeah, and not a very good one from where I'm standing. Well, I'm sorry to have disappointed you. Let's just call it a day, huh? It was only ever just a bit of fun. And let's face it, you're just not that much fun to be with at the moment, are you? P.C. Hemingway. Is this the Met's idea of a bad joke? You can request another officer, Dr. Wilder, but I can assure you I'm just here to do my job. Oh, well, if you put half the effort in as you did into investigating me, we should be fine, shouldn't we? Is there anyone that might have a grudge against you, Dr. Wilder? Oh, I've always had good relations with people in this community. Well, that is, of course, until the local police force decided to make it clear that I'm some sort of child abuser, that is. Well, we haven't told people that. Well, somebody seems to have heard about it. I mean, I suppose you don't think this was a vigilante attack either. Well, it's best not to jump to any conclusions until we've had a chance to investigate. But does the surgery have any CCTV that covers this side of the building? Not on the outside, no. Like I said, we used to have good relations in this community. So it looks like you'll just have to do some police work. And if you don't mind, I'd like to go and see my patients. I do hope this incident's going to be taken seriously, PC Hemingway. You have my word. How many times do I have to tell you I didn't have anything to do with the beating up of that girl? Oh, you might not have actually done the beatings, but you're an accomplice. Somebody told Joseph that Carrie was at your flat that night, and I'm pretty sure that it won't carry herself, you know that. You can have your phone records checked, Mr. McGuire. You burnt cigarettes into her arm, left her for dead. You want to protect someone like that? Hmm? I never knew he was going to beat her. All I knew is that he wanted me to pick her up and then text him when we'd finished our business. He made me do it. How? He found out Carrie was seeing me on the sly. I don't know how, but he did. And he was really angry. I swear, I only thought he was going to confront her about it. I mean, she's only trying to get some money together to get herself a fresh start. She didn't deserve that. I'm in trouble, am I? It depends on how helpful you want to be. OK, Gavin Joseph has got his fingers in a lot of pies. One of them is dealing cocaine to this fella, Tony Maguire. Now, no one's ever been able to prove a case like this against him before. That's about to change. Maguire's trying to set up a boat? Yeah, and we're going to have ringside seats. And where's this going? Uh, he's digs at the back of the bar he owns. Apparently, that's where he likes to do all his business. We searched there only yesterday, didn't find anything. Yeah, but he's very clever, and he's cautious as well. The gear comes in, an hour later it's gone out again. He phones up Maguire, he has to be down there in half hour to pick it up. This time we'll be waiting. But he wants to know who put a brick through Wilder's window. Where's your answer? Billy Aldridge. Yeah, but you don't actually see him throwing the brick. But it's a bit of a coincidence that he happens to be there. You're going to have to bring him in. We're having a bit of trouble tracking him down. But I've got an idea how Ross might get through to him. We just need her to leave the right kind of message. Abby? Shane? What's going on? Where's Abby and Shane? Are they all right? Your message said something was wrong. It's my fault, so we needed to find you. You stitched me up! You gave me no choice! 
Billy Aldridge, I'm arresting you on suspicion of criminal damage. What? You do not have to say anything, but then they help you defensive. You do not mention my question, something to do later in the No comment. I don't understand why you do something as stupid as throwing bricks, but you won't help us and give us a statement. If you want to get back at Wilder, help us. There's nothing you can do to touch him. The whole thing's over now, man. Tina... Tina is as scared as you, Billy. I'm sure of it. And maybe if you were prepared to go on record, she'd think again about her statement. Don't you understand? That's not going to happen. And it's not down to me. You don't know that. Because so far, Tina's been going it alone. If she knew you'd back her up, then she wouldn't be so scared of Wilder. You don't get it, do you? She's not scared of him. She's in love with him. And the only reason why she grasped on Wilder in the first place is because she found out he had a girlfriend. But she's never going to give evidence against him. Not now. What do you mean, not now? If something happened, has Wilder spoken to Tina? Has he put pressure on her? He doesn't need to. She's pregnant, all right? She's pregnant and she thinks it's his. And she thinks they're gonna both live happily ever after. Do you get it now? I really don't know about this. Just do as we discussed and get him to come to the door, okay? Get out, it's Tony! Gav! Break the door down. Gavin Joseph, it's the police! She's crazy! Carrie! Stay back! Just get out! She says, go back off, back off, I've got it. It's all right. Carrie, are you okay? What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to save your life, so why don't you shut up? Not so tough now, is he? You know, he actually thought I came here to beg him to take me back. After what he did to me. After what you did. Tell him. Tell the detective what you did to me. I know what he did, Carrie. That's why I'm here, OK? I'm here to take him away. You didn't see all of what he did. Just the bits on the outside. You see, a cigarette always come after for Gavin. Isn't that right? Cigarettes after sex. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, you bastard? He raped me. He raped me and then he branded me all because he didn't get his caught. Well, he's not getting away with that. He's not. No, he's not. He ain't getting away with that, I know. That's why I'm here. You let me punish him. Look at this. Carrie, look. Look at this. Now, this is going to put him away for a long time, OK? Carrie, let me punish him. You don't understand. He's taken my life away. I do understand. More than you could ever realise. Listen to me, if you hurt him, then he wins. You'll never, ever be free of this. Don't let him punish you anymore. Trust me, Carrie, please trust me. Put the knife down. Come on. Put that knife down for me. Sir, I need to talk to you about Billy Aldridge. You see Hemingway, you already know Dr. Wilder. Yes, sir. Of course. Dr. Wilder's come in because he doesn't believe you're the right person to investigate the criminal damage at the practice. I've just explained to him that you have, in fact, already arrested a suspect. Sir. Has Billy admitted that he did it? Um, yes. Yes, he has. He's very sorry. Now, the fact is, he's just as much a victim of this whole farce as I am. I'm just glad it wasn't some vigilante. I was worried that some people had been speaking out of turn. We certainly wouldn't want that. Now, as for Billy... Uh, actually, I'm prepared to let this whole criminal damage thing drop. As long as it all ends here. Right. Well, I'm sure you'll explain to Billy what a lucky escape he's had, PC Hemingway. I'd also like to see in my office later on there are certain other issues which have arisen I think we need to discuss. Stop. Thank you. You took a risk. 
I need to know that you're all right. I'm fine, Gov. I wasn't trying to be a hero or nothing. I just... I just thought I was the only one who could talk her down, that's all. What you did to her is going to take some getting over. So what's happening with her now? She's with an SOIT officer giving a full statement. I found a safe house. We'll take her. I think she's going to be OK. And you? What's happening with you? I'm back to work, Gov. He's not going to press charges, but don't pull a stunt like that again. I was just angry, innit? I didn't know what else to do, man. Tina, she, she really thinks he cares about her. She thinks that I'm the problem and, and that this is all my fault for talking. I had to do something, didn't I? It was wrong what he did. So help me to help her, Billy. I'll think about it. So what, I'm free to go now, yeah? Yeah. Is it OK? Far from here. Well, I've got something you should see. This is footage from outside the surgery. So... Look at the date and the time. Yesterday morning. Why are you looking at this? It's two hours before Tina came in to withdraw a statement. I remembered that Wilder thought there was no CCTV of his office. Tina. Gotcha. Ah! Yeah, it's just a twinge after putting that door through. Better be just a twinge, I should knock out a minute. I'll be fine. Listen, Pab, do you want to go for a drink? No, I've got other plans. I see him. I'm going to finally see your little lady friend, yeah? No, that's finished, mate. I'm going down the gym. Pab, you did not ditch her. It wasn't working. But Danny, you feeling OK? You seem a little not with it. <laughs> Man, fine. I mean, you know, I ain't been top of my game or nothing, but don't worry about me, I'm all right. Yeah? Well, I hope so, man. It's been painful watching these past couple of days. I mean, that Reg on Downers. In a bit. Yeah, see ya. It's the address of the safe house. They'll take care of you. What's gonna happen to me? We're well, gonna make a fresh start. No, I mean, am I in trouble for what I did to Gavin? Carrie raped you and he beat you. The SOIT office is taking your statement and we'll pass on to the CPS, but as far as we're concerned, it's not in the public interest to charge you. And I made it very clear to Gary that it isn't in his interest to take it any further. Why'd you do all this for me? Well, it's not just about you, Carrie. Yeah. You do this knight and shine and armor trick for all the girls, no, do no, you? No, 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 no. This is personal, this. Look, I don't know how to thank you. Stay away from people like Gavin. You're far too good for people like that, you know. Why do you have so much faith in me? You barely even know me. Carrie, when I first met you, you helped me out more than you can ever realise. Just repaying a favour. I don't know if I can deal with this. It's what Gavin did to me. Telling that officer made me feel... Ashamed. Deity. Well, don't let it, OK? It's wrong. So, did you ever talk to her? Who? That girl you told me about. Mia? Nah. Not really. Good luck, Mickey. Take care. There's no way we can confirm what Billy said about Tina being pregnant. Well, he's got no reason to lie. I mean, she's got no reason to lie about it to Billy. Sir, we've got proof that Wilder broke his bail conditions. But it's too late, Diane. The CPS have dropped all the charges. And we can't prove that Wilder forced Tina to withdraw her statement. It's out of our hands. We know what he's done. We've got to go after him. Like you did last night. 
Sir, that's no reason to just give up on the case. PC Noble, can you wait outside, please? Oh. Sir, I'm sorry. I was way out of line approaching Wilder last night, but please, don't let him off the hook because I made a stupid mistake. Given Billy's refusal to make a statement, where do you suggest I direct the station's resources? I can't just fly blind. Well, there has to be an angle. I'll think of something. Yes, I believe you will, PC Hemingway. Here's what I can offer. You've got 24 hours to find your angle. 24 hours to get Wilder, with my full support, OK? Thank you, sir. I want an update in the morning. Oh, and Yvonne, if you do nail this guy, I'd like you to accept the sergeant's position at Sun Hill. That'll be all. Superintendent asked me to drop off these press reports, but I didn't expect anyone to be still in CID. I had some paperwork to do, and to be honest, I don't really like going home much these days. I like to keep myself busy. Okay. You all right? I don't know. Sometimes I find it difficult to tell. Is this to do with the case that you're working on? Partly, yeah. This prostitute, Carrie. Yeah, whose pimp likes to play silly games with cigarettes. He raped her. And he brutalised her. I first met Carrie about a year ago. She was a key witness for us. We put away this psychotic called Martin Delaney. Oh, I think I know that name, yeah. Well, what you don't know is... When I first crossed paths with Delaney, He did to me what this pimp did to carry. Just when I think that it's gone away, something happens that brings it all back. And then there's this thing inside me, this... this, this self-destruct button. It's OK, Mick. No, it's not OK, because it makes me feel so ashamed all the time, every day. And it makes me feel not normal. So it's not OK. So I just get smashed up all the time. And I end up sleeping with as many women as I can. I end up ripping the eye out of somebody that I really cared about. You have nothing to be ashamed of. If I could turn back time and not do what I did to you, I, I would. I promise you I would. I'm so sorry, it was unforgivable. Hey. I forgive you. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's just heat and I can wait. No, take it, that's okay. I've got to get on with it, it's honest. I want to, you know, have a, have a drink or something, sometime. I'd love to. Now? I'd love to. On the bill. Stop it, Billy! I do not need rescuing, especially by you. Sorry, mate. I need to call Yvonne. It's Billy. Get out of my face! Next.
I, mean, I would love to be in a Bond film. The name's Walliams, David Walliams, and he's getting both shaken and stirred. You wouldn't make a Bond, look at the size of you, you're too big. Revealing his secret passion for Special Agent 007. Everything is wrong, isn't it? David Walliams, My Life with James Bond, next.